How the f Beep. Right? How the f is this rifle light? $500 more dollars than this rifle light? Or is this rifle light $500 more dollars than, I don't know, because I can't tell, because it's a rifle light. It's a flashlight, essentially. In today's video, we're gonna go over how most people get burned by the firearm industry based on brand, even though there is a way to get a very similar and comparable product and save a ton of money for range time, for ammunition, and Time off work so that you don't have to, I don't know, sell the farm to be able to pay for something like this. That's a good point. Jake here with Tacticon. Nolan with Jake from Tacticon. With Tacticon. He's Tacticon, I'm with him, with Tacticon. If you don't edit that out, I'll give you five bucks. So today there is uh, something pressing on the heels of our Battle Torch V2 and V3 launch that I wanted to go over today. And I really wanted to talk to you guys about uh, alternatives to purchasing excessively priced equipment um, so that you can have the, the money uh, to go out and buy ammunition, to train, to buy range time. I think it's incredibly important. Um, this is, yeah, we say some things in jest, but this is a serious video. We did another one on holsters and I just, I really do want to show you the differences in um, our light that we make, our gun light, which is our Battle Torch V2 and as this one is, the Battle Torch V3 and the uh, Surefire Scout light. I want to talk about the core values and missions of Tactical Armament right now and I think it's important that I reiterate this in every video that we do. It is to give every American access to high quality and effective defense equipment regardless of how much money you make. When I got out of the military, the first thing that I did was go out and buy a rifle, and I realized very quickly that I could not afford to put the rest of the things on the rifle. The only thing I could really afford at the time was a magazine and some ammunition. Even the sights that the guy was trying to sell me at the gun shop were like $180. I think they were Troy's or something like that. They were yeah. 90 a piece. He Ridiculous. said, it's 90 bucks. And I was like, it's crazy. And he was like, yeah, that's the front sight, right? Well, that's forged steel. <laughs> yeah. So here's the deal. So born was Tacticon. This is our gun light. This is a 1200 lumens gun light that costs $80. It comes with a 45 degree offset mount. It comes with a regular pick mount. It comes with a tail switch, the 18650 battery, and as uh, the battery charger as well. This, if you were to price out everything that I just listed for our gun light, is the Surefire coming in at I believe 610 to $620 right in there. I used Surefire. This is the exact light that I had in Afghanistan when I was back in the teams. Back in the teams. Back in the teams. <clears throat> I was in the regular army, I was in the teams. But I ran this in Afghanistan for 12 months. It worked great, never failed, it was awesome. Surefire nailed it, DOD contract, whatever they did to get us the uh, illumination that we needed out there, I appreciate you for that. The whole point here today is to say the difference between these two lights, there is none except for the $530, $40 price point. And that one makes my hands feel weird. It does feel weird. The coating. It's got a, it's got a strange coating on it, but it's probably some DOD contracted coating. This, I don't this know. is to Surefire. If you're watching Surefire representatives, I don't like your coating. It makes my hands feel weird. And it makes me feel weird. It does make me feel weird. That is directly to you. I want to walk you through the process of how it works for pricing for companies that have contracts with the DOD. If I had a contract with the DOD for this light and I was giving it to you for 80, I would have to give it to the government for 50, right? At that point, I wouldn't have any margin. So if they're giving this to you for 600 bucks all in with all the accessories that are attached to it, the reality is they're probably giving it to the government for 30 to 40% less. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what their contract looks like, but you generally have to sell to the government for less than you're gonna sell to the civilian market. So really what's happening is they're just putting a premium on whatever it is that you're buying and it's just not necessary. Let's get into the details of what the Surefire Scout Pro, Scout Light Pro, I'm looking at the box now. Scout Light Pro. So the Surefire Scout Light Pro, what this offers as opposed to what ours offer. Very similar housings, obviously. Ours, we've designed uh, 
I mean, you can only you can only design a light so differently from the next light, right? It's, it's tubular and it's has a, a light at the end. Right. Surefire most definitely led the way when it came to quality lights. Absolutely. Uh, but we're following suit and being able to make something because of the because of the development that they did. We were able to offer something to the public that is giving you the same, uh, essentially the same light at a much better value. This light, the Surefire, about a thousand lumens and 1.5 hours of battery life. That is as per the specifications on the packaging. Thousand lumens, hour and a half of battery life. 1200 lumens, two hours of battery life at full lumens, and then it degrades to uh, about four hours until completely dead. And I'm not sure how it works with the Surefire if it's 1.5 hours of full lumens. Well, they and, don't and tell it us. The same thing. It just doesn't say on yeah. here, so I'm not really sure. Right. However, what I am sure about is that when we bought this light, which <clears throat> was just a little bit earlier today, it came with the light and then this cap with a push button. When you purchase our light, you're going to get the standard Picatinny mount, you're gonna get the 45 degree offset mount, you're gonna get the tail switch with the cap that it plugs into, you're also gonna get the battery charger, and you'll get an 18650 battery with it, and it does come with a cord. We are going to go to the computer right now, and we're gonna price out exactly how much it would cost to get everything in our package that you're gonna get with the Surefire light. Yep. Onto the Surefire website. Surefire what do you, website. What do you got? So we this have light. we have the Scout Light. This is just the regular Scout Light. I'll overlay the Scout Light Pro. Okay. I had to use this one because I have to contact a dealer to get the Scout Light Pro. Okay. I can't just add it to my car. So you're on using Surefire's that one, website. which is 360 bucks. It's the exact same price, and I will overlay it. So okay. Scout Light, 360 dollars just for the light. Okay. With a standard 90 degree pick mount, and the clicker cap. Okay. Then, we want a pressure pad with an always on switch. Yep. And the backer. Okay. Another 160 bucks. I'll let you sink on that one for a Marinate second. Marinate in that, $160 for this. That is, so I'm gonna put this in perspective. That's a firearm stack. You can get two of our Battle, Battle Torch V3 lights. Which include those. Which include these and include the batteries, and include the other mount. You can get two of these for the price that you're gonna pay for a tail switch from Surefire. Moving on, we have our machined aluminum 45 degree offset mount for the light itself. Correct. So instead of mounting directly onto the pick rail, you can have it off angle. That is $90. If you work a minimum wage job, that is an entire eight hour day. That is an entire yeah. day of your life at work. Sure, depending for, on what state you're in. Right, yeah, yeah, for a absolutely. machined piece of aluminum. Yeah, it's it's kind of insane. So again, like if you're into the Gucci gear, that's cool. If you're embarrassed because like, because you, know, you don't you're, have you're, it, you're running. If you're if you go to the range and you're embarrassed because you're running things that aren't what everybody else is running, right? It's like, well, it's not what the seals have. So if I'm not going to show up to the range with it, I'd be far more impressed with somebody running standard equipment that was shooting really well at the range far more impressed than if somebody showed up to the range with a bunch of Gucci equipment that didn't know how to shoot. Like if this guy can't even change a mag properly, yet he's invested five grand in his rifle, all that tells me is maybe you should have saved that money, bought some ammunition, got out to the range and trained. If you're right? slapping down half second draws and like sub second one R ones with, with a high point. Absolutely, hats off to you, man. That shit makes my dick hard. Yeah. You, it's a matter of how much you train. And exactly. If, and if you train enough to where you think that I, I can't see I can't see it with a gun light, but I do see how there are certain components and certain things that you can purchase that are going to make you just a little bit better. But the problem with that is you get these, there's a lot of value with our brand right up to a certain point. Once you start spending more money on something, the there's an inflection point, right, where it's it's not really the percentage of return. It's a diminishing return as well. So you can you can dump more money into a product, but you're gonna be getting diminishing returns on that. So like your second hundred dollars, third hundred dollars, fourth hundred dollars, fifth hundred dollars spent on a particular item is gonna is gonna yield a lot less the more you spend, right? Yeah. Than the first hundred dollars that you spent. Correct. Right. And you can imagine, is Surefire is Surefire's light better than ours? I'm sure in some capacity it is, and I don't know because I haven't broken it down and really gotten into the fundamentals of the light. But is it better? Maybe. Perhaps. Perhaps. 
but with my testing, I can't find anything. My exterior external testing, mounting this light, testing this light, running around with a light, dropping their light, dropping my light. Whoops. Right? And uh, doing the lumens testing, I cannot figure out the difference. If there is, there is a very minor improvement for $548, even if there is. And that's what I'm trying to say. You can spend more money, but how much utility are you getting out of that additional several hundred dollars spent? Correct. You've got to be a pro to tell the difference. So of course, maybe it puts you an advantage by buying expensive gear. I don't think a light's going to be one of them, but if you've got a better optic, it puts you at a slight advantage. But I promise you that if you were to say, I'm gonna take this optic, right, which is our Falcon V3, and you put this up against a Night Force, but you took all the money that you saved and you trained, trained with, it. <laughs> with it, and then you went up against somebody that didn't train with that amount of ammunition for the money saved, let's say it was 1,500 rounds, 2,000 rounds. leagues of advantages. Leagues of it, leaps and bounds beyond somebody that didn't put the time in. It's, it's like if you gave Jerry Mitchell like a 1022. <laughs> you give him a revolver and you have a, you have a full 55 round drum and a Glock. Yeah. He's gonna outshoot you still. All day, every day. All day, every day. And what can we get for $540 to $600 for the money that we're saving on purchasing our light from good old fact? <clears throat> oh, it just so happens that I've got it right here. Oh, Crazy that. that. We offer plate combos. Did you know that? Indeed. Yeah. So for $599.98. That is your total cart value for? A plate carrier our Battle Vest Elite, level three plus, 4.4 pound multi-curve composite plates. Yep. And two trauma pads. So level three plus, 4.4 pound multi-curve composite level three plus plate, meaning it'll stop green tip. That's a pretty big trauma deal. Trauma pads and a plate carrier. For that, for that price, that is, so that 599.98 is essentially the money that you would have left over Plus 50 bucks, right? Roughly. Correct. Plus 50 bucks from what you would save not buying Surefire and purchasing our light. And that's what, so that's what I'm trying to get at. It is more of a, it's, it's what you want, right? Do you have armor right now? Do you have a plate carrier right now? Do you have composite armor? Do you have level three plus lightweight composite armor? Were you debating on whether or not to get this light? My advice, don't. Get our light and then go get a full set of armor, especially in California. Save 92 is coming out. You're not going to be able to get it anyway. Big another deal. Another story. Big deal. Moving on. Moving on. My favorite comparison. Right. You could get three high points. Oh, shit. High point. For we are at a low point. High point C9 compact 9mm. Yep. You can get three of those. You can get three of them. You could literally buy three high points and take one high point and shoot the other two high points and still be ahead of where you would, you would be. Still if you, have more money. <laughs> you, would still, you would still have more money than if you bought this light. Yes. Okay, let's let's talk about ammo, because we were talking about training, which is a big deal. You yeah, need, yeah. You need a gun to train, gotta, which you could buy a gun for the price of this light. Speaking the truth. Yeah, so let's talk about ammunition. For 5.56, five, which, let's be honest, most of you guys are probably gonna shoot. It's what I shoot the most. 5.56? Five, five, You're gonna get about, now this is just thousand round quantities. Okay, that's, uh, that's, eight, M, that's 855. So we got M855 and we got XM193. Both okay. very hot rounds. All right. Yep. What do you got? We've got a thousand rounds for $530. So with the money that you save and that's the and, and that's just a thousand rounds. So you could, you know, you could get a thousand rounds for 530 and a weapon light. That's awesome. For the same price. This is more of an overarching concept of when you spend the money on the Gucci gear and you're not spending the time and the money on the ammunition to train, you're leaving a lot on the table. So you could literally get our light in lieu of something like this and get a thousand rounds and get some range time in. I don't know. Personally, I'd like to, I'd rather have a, a thousand rounds of 556 five, and still have a light that works. So, yeah, I, I completely concur. I also want to say this I put my money where my mouth is, right? I have the, I have the fortunate ability to pretty much purchase whatever I want when it comes to um, firearms, ammunition, uh, equipment, things of that nature. And, even though I can now afford it, I still don't buy these. And the re only reason I have it is because I bought it for the video because I wanted to 
be able to show you the differences in the two and you know we're going to light these up on camera a little later and kind of show you how they work against each other so even if i could purchase it i still don't yeah even though i can own 600 hundred dollar red dots i still don't right. i run ours because that's the only thing i've ever needed when i've gone out to train right our lpvos i don't i i don't purchase the night force stuff because i just i haven't i haven't been able to justify the price point for the amount of additional returns I'm going to get on the product, right? It just doesn't yeah. make it doesn't make sense to me to be to have to. Well, I mean, that's also another DOD contract. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. So, yeah. But so like, they they've got to give it to us an, at a higher price point that they're giving it to correct. the government. So. And and another great point to bring up. I get to shoot constantly. I get a test product, and what cool what's cool is if I were to go out and not have this job and purchase my own my own kit, my own gear, yeah. I would not treat it the way I treat the stuff that's on my rifle right now because part of my job is durability testing. I get to see where these things fail. Yeah. I get to drop my rifle on the ground. Whoops. I literally tell him when he goes out, I'm just like, beat it up, man. Like anytime you get to your truck and it's got our optics on it, it's got our lights on it, throw it in the back of your truck, beat it up, throw it on the ground, roll around with it, do not be nice to it, because we wanna see those failure points. Right. And when we find the failure points, we fix them. Exactly, and so when, you know, I'll see these arguments online or I'll see people advocate for it and they're like, well, I need this because I need the extra durability. For what? I, I can't tell you how many of my friends yeah. How many people I know in my own gun community that their rifles barely have scratches on them. Yeah, durability for what? Yeah, exactly. They're not doing anything. No, they go out to the range in their padded range bag, <laughs> they set it down softly, they unzip, they load up a magazine, they don't even have slings on it that scratch it up, you know, and they shoot, you know, a couple mags and that's it. Mm. And, you know, if that's you, that's you but to argue that you need that durability when you're not pushing the bounds of what this rifle light will give you? Yeah, I'll just be blunt. I think it's stupid to spend that much money on a gun light, bottom line. I think it's dumb. Like, I'll never understand it. I will never get it. Yeah. I mean, unless it's, it's, the, uh, it's the allure of the brand, kind of like uh, when women buy purses, the Prada purse. Yeah, that's Prada. It's not just a bag. Not trying to shit on Surefire, a little shitting on Surefire, but. A little Pooh Bear Jamal. We want Second Amendment companies to succeed and continue to be great. So we're not trying to hate. No, 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 just, it, this is good. Anybody that's yeah. contributing to uh, innovation in, is the, a great in the industry, thing. which is clearly sure. And these, these guys, guys certainly have. Yeah, they've got like 100%. 300 patents. I don't know, it was something insane. They had a ton of patents online. Three billion <laughs> patents. They, they just, they continue to innovate. They continue to lead the way. It's all to the good. Um, and if you want to support that, cool, good Fuck for yeah. you, right? Awesome. But you don't need to if you don't want to because there are other ways around it. There are other ways around optics. There are other ways around, you know, you don't have to own EOTech. You don't have to own uh, Surefire to be able to effectively get the job done. If you don't agree with what we've said here. You're wrong. If you don't agree. I totally understand that. What I would like to know from you down in the comments is, what about what I said was incorrect and how you would justify spending that much money on a gun light. And even if maybe you're able to afford it now, and if you're not, even if you were able to afford it, would you do such a thing? Would you spend that type of money on a light? And in what scenarios would you or wouldn't you do so? Maybe, hey, I'm going to combat, I don't trust Tacticon, so I'm gonna take Surefire? Or is it more of, uh, I just, you know, I just feel better going with a like a, a name brand. I don't know. I don't know. Tell me what you think down in the comments. Let us know how you feel. Uh, I am not sorry if I offended anybody because those are my uh, those are my values. More importantly, to my boys out there, you know who you are. Love you guys. Teams. Teams. Get down yeah. there. Let us know what you could purchase with six hundred and twenty dollars. We gave you a few examples. Tell us what you would buy with $620 because... It's a good call. I know you got my back. And I got your front. We got each other.
one of the biggest things that I think is important, like you were saying, we're not here to talk shit about Surefire. We're here to talk shit about, about you the- if you buy Surefire. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. 